This is a special report to bring you up to date in something that's disturbing. Uh, many in the community uh, that began to spot this yesterday, it's now becoming even more um, in view. So what we're talking about is an object that was recorded by Sechi on November 16th, 2016. And it started to become visible, I think maybe on the 15th, but we're gonna take a real close examination. So what we will do is that I'm gonna go through a series of stills that have been taken off of the satellite feed that you can get for yourself and I'll leave you a link. So let's take a look, folks. So we began to see this. The date on this one is 1116. This is 0409. Now I'll just go ahead and start going through these and you'll start seeing. This is 0609. This is 1649, and these are in different filters of light. 1609, 1129, 1116, 1109. Folks, this is real. It's not an aberration of the camera. It's not a malfunction of the camera. There's nothing wrong here. The camera is picking up exactly what it is seeing. These are in the different uh, wave bands. You can go directly to the SETCHI website and go through each one of these yourselves. What disturbs me about this particularly is that in this particular light filter, folks, this is mass. This is what we call negative and positive uh, charged particle ions. This is the sun, and you can see it's, this is big. It's very, very big. We're going to see this here. This is heat, and you're going to see that um, what I'm talking about. This is 1049. Now, as we go forward, I'm going to be pointing out some rather remarkable um, elements. Again, look at this. It's massive. It's huge. Um, this is Venus. <laughs> so it begins to tell you. Our sun's reacting. These are shots, folks, where there is the, uh, the particles overwhelming the sensors. It's absolutely going. Um, I'll show you in one of these. Look at this. Now, this is in negative light. Folks, there's something here that this is covering. Um, look at this. Now, if you're trying to say, well, that's our sun, folks, uh, you don't know really what you're talking about. <laughs> you Seriously, you do not. Uh, this is looking out in the outer solar system. Look at this. Amazing. It's solid. You know you can have a gas state that's in both states, right? You do realize that. Okay, just so that you understand. It's just remarkable. 
So I'm sure the question that you're asking, well, what is it? Well, if this is the destroyer, I understand what the Egyptians now wrote about. I understand now why people soiled themselves. This is big, folks. Really, really big. Now, our sun is reacting. This is coming off of our sun. And what makes it remarkable is that this object is remaining behind the charged particles coming off our sun. Look at that. Again, this is Venus. It's massive, folks. Look at that. This disturbs me. I don't really know what that is. But it's visible. In every light wave, this is not an aberration again. <clears throat> Look at that, folks. This is a light source. I don't know if this is blocking it. I don't know if this is the brown dwarf itself. If it is, it's huge. Um, it's as big as our sun, if not bigger. Um, it's huge. Again. You know, as you can see, it is just... This is the one that really gets me. If this is a body, this is a star, then this could very well be a very large planet. I, I don't know. I'm just giving you my personal interpretation. And what disturbs me about this one particularly, I told you, ah, crapola, is that this is interstellar space. We see this star field all the time. And I'm going to show you the videos. This is out and impacting the outer regions out here. And then look at this. I don't know what it is, but it's in our solar system. That's the only thing I can come to the conclusion. I'll show a couple of videos that you can see. Um, it's big, folks. It's big, and if if it's where I believe this is, as Steve and I talked earlier, um, the next couple of months are going to get real interesting for planet Earth, folks. Real interesting. So here's a video um, just taken today. So let's see it. You'll see it at the very end. There it is, right there. Okay, we got more. Let's check it out, another one. So here's another one. Um, I'll watch this. There it is. And when you see this picture here, what this is doing, it's not the camera. The camera is being overwhelmed. This is light, folks. <laughs> this, this is, you know, truly photons. Um, it's huge, ladies and gentlemen. It's huge. Look at that. I mean, you know, I know everyone's got your opinion, and that's cool. But check that out. Yeah. All right. Got one more view. Now, this is the one that really got my attention. Because remember, what you're seeing, this is the sun right here, right? So this is 
these are highly charged product particles you know they're coming off there we can see that we can measure this but check this out I'm going to stop it right here. Watch. So look at this. We're getting supercharged particles. Now our sun, I'm just going to try to show you, it's kind of like right here. So these particles are coming from everywhere. Now watch this. Okay. Look at that, folks. I mean, seriously, whatever it is, it's really bright. Has some interesting characteristics. And look at this. You see, when we, if someone tries to say it's a lens flare, well, this begins to defy that. This is mass. This is big. I don't know what it is, but it's in our solar system. I'll let it play through one more time in real time so you can see it. So there you go. Um, heads up, folks. Something's out there. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, it's... It's got strange characteristics to it. All right, if there's ever a time in our planet that we really need to change, if listen, I don't know what this is, but I've watched Sechi for a long time, and I have a very, very dear, dear family member who's been watching it much longer. And uh, folks, <clears throat> this is real. All right, be kind to one another. Remember that, folks. It's more important than you know.